Hey everyone, my name is Stevie Richards, and in today's video, I want to talk about the amazing features of Ecamm Live, but it, it, it looks terrible in here. Hold on a second. Give me, give me this, this, no, this isn't going to do. I got to, I got to, I got to upgrade this. Hold on. Okay. I think that's much better. It looks much better. We got some good lighting here. We shut off these lights. We did the blackout curtains. Now let's get to the video where I explain how I use Ecamm Live to produce, to film, to produce, to edit for pre and post production for the Stevie Richards show, as well as my other channel, Stevie Richards Fitness. So here we are at my studio desk. This is where we record each and every episode of the Stevie Richards Show and Ecamm Live is the central hub, the foundation, and the linchpin that makes two and a half hour, three hour, or even three and a half hour episodes each and every week possible and actually fun and almost stress-free. Almost stress-free because there's no production that's ever stress-free. This video is Probably won't take eight or nine right now. So that has nothing to do with Ecamm Live. That's strictly user error on my part. But Ecamm Live makes it possible. And we're going to go through each and every step. And by the way, I'm just scratching the surface. I'm technically still an amateur, still a noob compared to some of the content creators in the Ecamm Live family. So I have a long way to go. But even in my early stages of really using the power of Ecamm Live, I'm getting so much benefit. My workflow is streamlined. The production is high quality. And I'm going to show you each and everything what I use as far as hardware. And obviously, Ecamm Live is the software. So obviously, I'm using a Mac because Ecamm Live is Mac only. And right now, I'm using an M2 Max Mac Studio along with the Apple Studio Display. And the reason why I'm using these two products, which are super expensive, the Mac Studio is a great deal, but if the Mac Mini had come out when I was gonna buy the Mac Studio, which by the way, the M4 Mac Mini is incredible, but the Mac Studio was the only thing at the time that could handle the bandwidth and have the ports possible to be able to use something like Ecamm Live with three, four, five, six camera angles, multiple audio sources, and also the 512 gig hard drive with an external drive attached that using up another port was enough headroom for me to use the Ecamm Live and also to be able to edit videos and do other things on a Mac. Now, as far as video, I'm using right here on this camera angle, a Sony a7 IV with a 35 millimeter 1.8 lens, also a Sony brand. I went with the first party brand on this lens. And the Sony a7 IV is connected via USB-C, a video monitor cable I got off Amazon. It's a 25 foot cable plugged into the Mac Studio. So it charges and also puts a video signal out so I can have it registered with Ecamm Live. Also, I'm using the Elgato prompter because eye contact is super important. And the other teleprompters don't match up to the ease of use nor the quality of the Elgato prompter. And also I use the camera hub to basically put up cameo requests, other scripts, and things like that for cold opens on the Stevie Richards show. The prompter and the Sony a7 IV as a combination are just awesome to use with Ecamm Live. Now for audio, I'm using the Rodecaster Pro 2, but I also have the Rodecaster Video, which is basically a Rodecaster Duo combined with something like an ATM Mini Pro ISO or something like that. But the Rodecaster Video is a pretty strong competitor to Ecamm Live. It's the hardware version, but the features, the software, all that stuff is nowhere near as mature at the time of this recording as the Ecamm Live, the customization to be able to do different things. You'll see uh, when we go into demo mode here on Ecamm Live and how I set things up, that it's definitely in its infancy. It has a lot of potential, but Ecamm Live for the price, especially compared to the Rodecaster video, cannot be beaten. Having the Rodecaster Pro 2 makes it awesome to have great audio plugged in through this, the Rode Pod Mic USB, which by the way, you don't need a Rodecaster Pro 2. You can plug this directly in via USB and then use Rode Central to really get the software effects and everything that you're getting on the Rodecaster Pro 2 or even the Rodecaster Video. Also, what I'm using here, you can see that's a wrestling match right there. We use smartboard segments on the Stevie Richards show. Right here 
It's one of the camera sources that I'm recording right now in ISO mode. You're going to know what that is in a second. But basically, this right here is in front of me, and I can bring that up into the live mix or edit later via that ISO feature with Ecamm Live, and I pretty much have all the camera angles I need. So basically, one, two, and three counting this. I can also wirelessly connect my iPhone 15 Pro, but right now this is enough just for this particular video here. I don't want it to be an hour long, although I could go through the features of Ecamm Live for well, well, well over an hour. So here we are in demo mode, and that's another feature I really like about Ecamm Live. When I wanna show kind of behind the scenes stuff for my Patreon supporters and everything with the Stevie Richards show, they love the fact that I can do this and then combine it with something like Final Cut Pro and I have Final Cut Bros, Pro Zooms with the focus and stuff. And I can really use that software to zoom in on that stuff or even ScreenFlow is what I use for screen recording. So a lot of great combinations for the Mac. That's why I'm gonna be an Apple fanboy pretty much for life. Never gonna use Windows if I can help it. I got a Steam Deck OLED just to avoid the ROG Ally X and Windows in that way. But here we have, that's another video for another time. But here we have uh, the main screen right here. And you can see right here, we have the camera switchers with all the camera angles right there. Now what makes this awesome, we're gonna go to preferences. I'm gonna show you my preferences and what I have for this. You can see everything here, you know, and the, the customer support team has been awesome. So we have general settings right here. We have the account here. The recording is where it really shines. And even the stream right here, you can see 4K, which even the Rodecaster video only does 1080p. So to be able to get a 4K recording that I can go into a 1080p timeline in Final Cut Pro, that's awesome. And also for the cameos, I can use this in portrait mode, which Cameo is mostly portrait, and be able to do that. And it really is great, and the quality is appreciated by the people that are that are making the Cameo request. Here on recording, we have right here, camera A is the Sony a7 IV, camera B is the iPad, camera C is the Hollyland, and then interview and Zoom guests. I don't have anything, but that if, if I was doing a Zoom recording with James, I always ISO recording the Zoom call as well as a backup right there. And then we have primary mic and guest audio. If you want to go one step further, I use redundancy and basically record multi-track on the Rodecaster Pro 2. And on soon, I'm going to record ISO recording on the Rodecaster video to have a backup. But like I said, fingers crossed, Ecamm Live has never really failed me, as far as I know. Here we have destinations for that. I don't really stream a whole lot. Default source, all that stuff. Audio right here. The mic delay, the, the default five on mic delay works fine with me. And I, I looked at other influencers and content creators like Adrian Salisbury and other people who have Sony cameras, I believe. One of them do, and it was five. So I just matched that. So look up all that stuff. Interview. I wish I could do more with the interview mode. I haven't yet. Screen sharing. We're going to get to that because I don't use the typical icon up here for screen sharing. As a matter of fact, let's just go and open it up. And what I'm going to do is open up Safari right here. And then on Scan Converter, I'm going to come down here, capture Safari, do that. And then I could literally look at this without having to have the Infinity thing or the Inception thing and all that stuff and work off of that. So if I wanted to, which I do, I'm gonna bring up Ecamm Live right here, and then I'm gonna switch on my Steam, on my Stream Deck, I'm saying Steam Deck, I'm gonna to switch to Picture in Picture. And you can see sort of right here that we also have video background, background overlays, which right now the Roadcaster video does not have. It has to be a static PNG file, 1980 by 1020. I love just that slow, you know, scrolling text in the background. Also right here, you can see we have a little bit of perspective, if I can say it. We have a perspective look at this. So we can turn this using these settings right here and make this kind of tilt a little bit. I'm even gonna tilt my camera if I can do that in a later date, but it makes it possible just to have a little bit of a 3D, like M Camreg does a great job with that with Final Cut Pro. This is a great camera angle right here. I love this. And you can see I don't have a video file found, but 
But that makes it awesome to be able to do that. I can add a border to this. I can do anything I want. The border width right here to be able to have that. I have a little bit of a border and I can make that a gradient and have two different colors. I'll bring the border width down right there. The opacity, the rotation, all different things. There's perspective right there. So see how I can turn this right there. Yep, that's good right there. Just slightly doing that adds a whole lot of depth to the shot. It really is just nice. Those kinds of features, the 4K, to be able to build these shots out and to be able to make them any way that you want. Now, I've considered purchasing a lot of different overlays and stuff from live streaming pros because time is money to me, but it's also fun to create stuff like this if you can help it. Let's see if we can turn off demo mode. Okay, oh, demo mode's off. I wish there was an indicator, by the way, for the team to tell me when demo mode is shut off. A little bit of a window there because I just had to turn it on to see, okay, it's not on. I got to turn it on. I'll cancel that. I know it's off. Just one extra step. Not a big deal. All right, so let's showcase a unique feature of how I use this combining smart board segments for the Stevie Richards show with this right here. Let's just switch it right there. And we have the iPad plugged in through just a regular USB to USB-C cable to the front port of the Mac Studio. So here we have this right here. And what I can do with this is basically scrub, do anything I want on the iPad, but the power of it comes that I can draw with the Coach Lens app that I have right here. This is a great app to be able to break stuff down. So if I wanted to even have an angle and have another angle of Shawn Michaels dropping the elbow while still doing that, I can switch all these different things, clear it. I use a backup recording on this as well and capture the audio just in case. Redundancy is definitely key. Another cool thing is I can add split screen and be able to break them both down at the same time. Boom. So if I have two different videos, I basically can draw on each video like that. Now, I don't have a picture-in-picture -picture shot. I could build it out, but right now, I'm just going to stick with the full screen. I usually put uh, my, my uh, masked out self into that, but I can build that into one shot very, very easily. So this is probably the most unique way that I use it that really makes the Stevie Richards show stand out. And I love doing that. That's that's a lot of fun to be able to do that stuff. And when I build the scene out, which basically building the scenes makes it so where I can do this, go back and forth using this the Stream Deck. I almost said Steam Deck again. I want to play some, uh, I got a lot of emulators on the Steam Deck. But that's another thing about the Steam Deck. I have the Avermedia, Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 I plug it right into my Mac Studio and I can bring it up in Ecamm and play it. And basically it's it's like the Elgato version with instant game view. There's really no lag, but I can also plug it into one of the TVs we have in here, play, record, stream on Ecamm and have a finished product with isolated video recording angles. So the best of all worlds with that. So that's just a little taste. Uh, I really want to get more involved in the Ecamm community. I really want to show how I use it, not only here at the Stevie Richards show, meaning Ecamm Live, but also with Stevie Richards Fitness and to be able to sit here and utilize Ecamm Live for a bunch of different use cases. But it's been amazing. I've been so satisfied and I've been a user and a customer of Ecamm Live for years. But just in the last 18 months or so, I've really started to kind of embrace the power. And like I said, I'm still just scratching the surface. So if there's anybody out there who wants to comment below or send me an email, theoretrixfitness at gmail.com. And also selfishly, like I said, I want to get more involved with the community and the influencers and the content creators in the Ecamm Live team. So I'm going to be showing up on a lot, hopefully in the future, in the near future, showing up on a lot of Ecamm Live videos here on the YouTube channel. So really great stuff. There's never been a better time in 2025 using technology. And, and I'm an old man, I'm 53 years old. So it's a lot easier today than it even was five years ago, especially 10, 15, 20 years ago, or when I started YouTube and podcasting in January 2007. It is definitely super easy, not clunky at all. So definitely use Ecamm Live, create something, and that's it. Just have fun.